All right, that was Kathy by Less Than My Heart. And here in the studio with me again is Cole Hennigar. Welcome. Yeah, thanks, Jack. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no, thanks for coming on. This is uh, this has been fun already. I've yeah, been, no, I'm, I'm liking this. I've been so excited just like since walking into the room. Cool. Yeah. Um, okay, well, tell me about yourself. Um, so, oh, wow. Um, I'm currently second year uh, classical voice major at the... Days tells faculty of music um i'm in a band called less than my heart and i'm just pretty much a musician like i don't <laughs> that's pretty much the gist of it i don't really do anything else besides music cool to be honest with you you play you played guitar and you sung on the track right yeah so on this track um i pretty much produced all of the bass tracks um majority of the piano tracks and i have backup vocals as well cool yeah um what what inspired the song um so i'm gonna talk on behalf of my vocalist joe uh because he was basically um in a relationship that wasn't too uh it just wasn't really too great for him and he like the song is pretty much based off of that and it's just the idea of if he wants to stay and if she wants to stay and or if he wants to leave she wants to leave vice versa and all that um but it's just like kind of that battle between like committing and just kind of letting go right so like he wrote the lyrics for he had the lyrics in the vault for like a while and we like took a look at them one day and then like all three of us we just got together um and i just started laying down piano lines because he was like, I need something to go with this. And just like playing around with progressions. And finally, um, like after like a long day, I remember I was there for like five hours, I think. Like wow. this is like during summer. So like all the free time you could ever imagine. But I was there for five hours trying to figure out piano line. And then I finally got that melody line in the beginning, which you heard like the, the da 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 da. And then like, it just kind of all came together after that. Cause that was like the pickup right. that we all needed. The thing that sort of started, like combined it all. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, how did you, how did your band get together? What um, the band? so I knew Joe or I met Joe in high school later in high school. Like we were in, uh, like I was in a lot of the music classes in high school and so was he, uh, we just never really got that bond that we have now until like around late grade 10, 11. And then, uh, eventually we started a, a cover band in high school. Uh, so he would be on vocals. I would be playing piano. We had a, uh, drummer, a uh, bass player and a guitar player, uh, down the road, our drummer left. So we were looking for a new drummer. And, um, that's where Aiden come in, uh, comes in. Cause my bass player was like, let's get this guy in. Cause he, he like, he's in the division. Like he's really close. He's like, I'm sure he's available for a gig. And, um, I remember the first time he walked cause we were in my guitarist's, uh, like basement where we held rehearsals. I remember the first time he walked in, he, this guy was like, he's like six foot, whatever. He's just like this huge dude. And I was like, Oh my God. <laughs> but, um, no, he's absolutely a nice guy. Aiden's a wonderful drummer. Um, just such a positive minded person. And, um, like Joe's pretty much the same thing. Like Joe's a fantastic writer. Um, just an all around like good musician. Cool. Yeah. It's good to hear. It's good to have positive people mm -hmm. around. Um, so I saw that you were on your, on your Instagram story and your band's Instagram, uh, you were working on another song called my only friend. Is that still going on or what's, what's going on with that? Yeah. Um, so the th yeah, the thing with my only friend, like, um, uh, <laughs> how do I want to word this without spoiling a lot? Um, the song's done. The song is done. We're just, um, we're just going to find the right time to put it out. Right. In the words of Benjamin Hill, big things coming soon. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That, um, that's pretty much all I can really say about no, that. No, no worries. <laughs> have you ever heard of the band called Panic Land? We have. <laughs> Were you guys inspired by them at all? Um, just because I saw your Instagram stories and they, it reminded me of Panic Land a little bit. Yeah, you know? like Winnipeg um, boy band. Yeah, like we've talked with Panic Land like quite a bit. Um, I've talked to Brayden uh, quite a bit just with 
just in general, talking about the industry, talking about music, just getting some tips and stuff because like they're right. they're out there, yeah, like in the country for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, um, obviously a good group of guys um, to look up to just because of the success that they've had locally as yeah. well as like nationwide. Um, but yeah, obviously really good group of guys. Um, and yeah, we were, yeah, we were definitely inspired cool. by them. Um, so other than my only friend, do you have anything else that's coming up next for your band? Um, obviously we have a lot of songs. We have a lot of songs in the vault. Okay. It's pretty much a matter of time. It's a matter of refining it's a matter of getting in the studio um it's just a whole bunch of things like all of our demos are complete and we really want to push out these songs but it's just again like my only friend it's basically like a matter of time and just when the right time is to drop it right yeah cool uh so you were saying earlier that you might be thinking of changing your band's name so right now it's less than my heart do you guys have any ideas of what it might be changed to um <laughs> the amount of times we've talked about the band name is um is kind of crazy i don't know i because there's some point where i actually like the name and then the others are like oh i don't i don't know if it's gonna if that's gonna really sell but i was like you know we'll keep we'll keep going with it and then eventually down the road we are, we're all pretty much thinking the same thing but um about the band name I'd have to, yeah, we're still looking into it. Cool. Like, there's not any huge ideas on the table. It's not really the focus right, right now, because obviously the focus uh, comes with the music and putting that out to the public. But um, what I can say is there's definitely going to be a name change down the road. All right. Uh, looking forward to seeing what comes up. Um, do you guys play any live shows where have you guys played in the past if you have um under less than my heart there hasn't been a live show under our belt yet there like but all of us have performed in the past together right. uh with other bands but um the plan is next year okay cool that's when the live shows come out is there anything else you want to say before we head on to the next song i got up here um i don't know am i allowed to Am I allowed to plug your band? Sure. Okay. Of course. Uh, yeah. Follow less than my heart on all socials. There you go. Instagram, YouTube. Yep. You guys got a Twitter. We got a Twitter. SoundCloud. It's all out there. It's Follow less than my there. heart. Yeah. Up next, we got Pafasil by Jeremy and the Delicious Hounds.